Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to show you how to install ROMs to your laptop or home computer using Emulation Station. So first of all, you need to install Emulation Station. Now to find the ROMs, we're going to go to Google, search, download ROMs, and there'll be a bunch of sites that come up. Now the one I tend to use is www.romsgames.net. On there you can find a bunch of ROMs which highlight different sorts of consoles from your Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, PlayStation, Nintendo 64. So for example, we're going to look for Metroid Fusion. We're going to click Save Game in the top right-hand corner. Now, after a couple of seconds, that game will start to download in the top right-hand corner under your Downloads folder. With it being a Game Boy Advance game, that game will literally take seconds to download. Once we open up that file that's downloaded, we need to extract the game from that file. Now, with this being a Game Boy Advance game, the file that we are looking for is .gba once it extracts. So we're going to drag that to my screen. We're going to download this now and that will come up as a separate folder to say that the file has now been extracted so there you see the file for the game boy advanced version of metroid fusion next we're going to go into the emulations folder for roms where you save all your roms and data from emulation station we're going to look for the folder for the game which in this case would be gba for game boy advance and what all we're going to do is drop that file into that folder and it's as simple as that just for demonstration purposes as well for this video we are also going to show you another download for another games boy advance rom so now we're going to go looking for a different game now now another personal favorite of mine is one i've been dying to get on my steam deck for some time and to be honest with you doing this video has allowed me to have that chance to get it which i believe is crash bandicoot the huge adventure i think it yep it is the huge adventure so we'll go download that exactly the same process save game Allow a few seconds for it to start downloading. Look out for the file in the top right hand corner and then we're going to open up that file once it's downloaded. Exactly the same process. We're going to extract that file from the folder. Look for the file to make sure that it says GBA at the end. So once that's extracted, again, you drag that file into the GBA folder on the ROMs category of Emulation Station. And this process is pretty much the exact same way for each ROM that you need. PlayStation 2 games are a little bit more complicated, as are the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360. Um, you do need BIOS and stuff like that for those sort of games. But your simple games such as Genesis, Mega Drive, GameCube, they will work perfectly. Uh, just for demonstration purposes as well, we're going to show you another ROM today in this video, which is for Nintendo 64, one of my personal favourite games, which is Mortal Kombat 4. So what we're going to do, same process, click on the folder, click save game and wait for that file to appear in the top right hand corner. Again, allow the countdown to go. And then in the top right hand corner, we're going to extract that file the exact same way that we've done with the Game Boy Advance games. As you can see, it does take a little bit longer with it being a Nintendo 64 games. Depending on what the console is, the games will take a little bit of time to download. For example, obviously PlayStation can take anything up to two hours to download a game. Dreamcast can take about an hour. GameCube can sometimes take three hours. It all depends on the game, the size of the game, etc., etc. So always be wary as to how fast downloads may take. So again, Mortal Kombat folder. We're now going to look for the ROMs folder for Nintendo 64, which on your ROMs folder will be highlighted as N64. As you can see, I've already got previous files in there, which are going to do exactly the same. We're going to drag Mortal Kombat right over to that folder. And there we go. It's appeared. So we've got to have Mortal Kombat Trilogy in the folder, but right at the very bottom, which we've just added, is the Mortal Kombat 4 game for the Nintendo 64. Well, anyway, I hope this video helps you with your ROM downloads and get sorted with the Steam Deck. Remember, do this exact same process on the Steam Deck as what you would on the PC. You'll have absolutely no problems with your ROMs. Thanks for watching.